Hi, it's Deb from Deb's Days. It's Foster Friday, and I'm here to tell you about a special kitty I'm fostering this time around. His name is Wyatt. If you've been with me for a while, you know I've been fostering baby kittens for Simply Cats for several years now. Simply Cats is a cageless, no-kill, feline adoption center here in Boise, and it's the only shelter I work with. Well, I have a special little family of felines who arrived in my home from Simply Cats this week. We're calling them the Wild West Gang. We have Mama Kate. Such a sweetie and such a beautiful girl. Mama Kate brought along four little babies with her. Two boys and two girls. Our first little girl is little Miss Calamity Jane. Oh, look at the pretty little girl. Just look at these color patterns on her back. Oh, so pretty. Our second little girl is little Miss Annie Oakley. Oh, look at that cute little face. She's just as cute as can be, and she's a big old soft ball of fur. And for the boys, we have little Wild Bill. And boy, little Wild Bill sure lives up to his name. You'd never know by that sweet little face, but boy, oh boy, is he a wild one. And the second boy might be the reason you're watching this video right now. Let me introduce you to Mr. Wyatt Earp. See anything different about this little guy? Take a look at those back paws. Yep, he doesn't have any. Wyatt was born without any back paws. Here in his first month of life, I'm not sure anyone thinks anything's different about him. Mama cleans him just as hard and thoroughly as she does the rest of them. And he clearly is a smart learner because he picked up on the cleaning skills. And he's a good wrestler, too. He plays with his sister, using those little back legs to do those bunny kicks we see kittens doing with each other when they're playing. He's certainly not shy about tussling about with the rest of them. At about four or five weeks, we're at the point where all the little babies are just learning to play and start running around. Why, it's a little slower of a goer, but he seems to be doing quite well so far. I'm not sure if you can see it or not, but he started to form calluses on the bottom of his legs. It's going to be important to keep an eye on these and make sure he doesn't wind up with any sores or open wounds. Right now, everything looks pretty good. Another thing we need to keep an eye on is his weight. He came to me at a mere nine ounces this week when the other three were close to a pound. We'll do a few things to get some weight on the boy. Mama Kate's still nursing, so we'll continue that, but it can be crowded at that feeding trough, so we'll make sure he gets some one-on-one -on -one time with her. Oh, just look at those ears move. We also may use some KMR, some kitten milk replacer. It's like baby formula, but for kittens. This is a product I use for the teeny tiny babies I foster. Remember, you're not going to give cow's milk to kittens, as their little tummies can't handle it. We're also going to start him, and the rest of the gang, on some gruel. Gruel is a canned cat food, jarred baby food, KMR, water mixture. I use a shaker bottle to blend it all together to make a super healthy, super nutritious meal. But here's another reminder in the food department. It's best not to change their diet all at once as their tummies need some time to adjust to the new foods. So introduce those things slowly. All right, back to Wyatt. It appears he's walking a little bit crooked as one of his little stumps is a little bit shorter than the other. While he's not quite as fast as the others, it looks like he might be just fine. We're going to help him out a little bit, though. This coming week, we're going to work on strengthening these little front legs. We want to make sure we can keep him active. While it would be much easier, and probably make us feel better, to carry him around and make everything easy for him, it wouldn't be to his benefit. We want to make sure we give him every opportunity the rest of the little babes get, even if he's sometimes outnumbered. So what kind of progress will he make by next Friday? Well, we really don't know, but we're going to find out together. 
I'm going to be posting new videos of Wyatt every week so we can keep on top of his progress. You can find those videos either by subscribing to my YouTube channel or heading over to my blog at debsdays.com to the Foster Kitty section. Also, if you're interested in helping support the work being done with foster kittens, check out simplycats.org. It's also where Mama Kate, Calamity Jane, Annie Oakley, Wild Bill, and Wyatt Earp will be up for adoption when the time comes. See you next week with another edition of The Adventures of Wyatt. Bye.